Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we're back with Love Island the Game. This is day 8, parts 1, 2 and 3. If you've been enjoying this series so far, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to see more and let's get on to day 8, part 1. Love Island the Game season 2. Did I say that? It's been a long day. This part is called Walk Away Babe. This is the calm before the dumping. The islanders keep their spirits high as they prepare to lose a boy in today's dumping. Here we go. Previously on Love Island, the girls voted on which of the boys was the most dateable. Islanders, the boys who received the most votes and that you think is most likely to leave the island with a girlfriend is Noah. And the least dateable, Rocco, Lucas and Ibrahim. Tonight. The three least dateable boys are put to a public vote. This is proper brutal. And it's adios to two gorgeous guys. Can't believe they have to leave. But first, what's better than spilling the beans? Doing it in front of your partner, of course. What? You were expecting a joke, were you? I'm being serious for a change. You stumble into the beach hut with Rocco, bleary-eyed from sleep. You take a seat. Rocco perches beside you a little stiff. We're ready. Let's do this. Two new boys have entered the villa. What do you both think of Hemrick? I think he's got a great vibe. I think he'll be good for the villa. Yeah, I think I agree with that. He's like a hype machine. I reckon it'll be good for us having someone like that around. And what do you think of Lucas? I think he's a total dreamboat. Sorry, Rocco. Rocco crosses his arms, turning slightly away from you. Really? Dreamboat? I don't know if I'd go that far. Someone sounds jealous. Moving on to the girls. M. Who do you think causes the most drama? I think it's... Do you know what? I do think it is Lottie. Yeah, I get how she could be a little... Well, I don't know. Is sharp the right word? But she's completely different if you're on her good side. Rocco pauses, turning away from the screen to look at you. I'm actually quite surprised you think that, though. It looked like you were getting along really well. I mean, to be fair, we are getting along well, but it doesn't mean I don't think she's the one that starts all the drama. A lot has happened over these past few days. Em, how do you feel about what's happened with Rocco? I'm kind of hurt. I really liked him and he threw it all away. I'm sorry, I... I just kind of panicked a bit. I didn't realise these questions would be so intense. You're aware of his presence beside you as the next question appears on the screen. Is there someone else in the villa you'd rather be with? Actually, yeah. Sorry and all, but I've got to be honest. Rocco hangs his head, letting his hair fall in front of his face. He says nothing. Well, consider me enlightened. This must be how it feels to drink one of those wheatgrass smoothies everyone's banging on about. The girls have just started getting ready for the day when you rock up to the dressing room. Across the room, Priya is helping Marisol style her hair. Where have you been off to? We woke up and you were just gone. I went to the beach hut with Rocco. Then we won't pry, will we girls? Hope and Lottie turn their attention back to the mirror, leaving you to get ready in peace. I am going, I love that outfit so much. I hate that I can't really justify wearing them. Also, can you imagine the tan lines on that? I'm gonna go back to our opening day bikini. Across the room, Priya douses Marisol in a mist of hairspray. You're so fashion forward, Em. You always look great in that. Thanks, Marisol. Priya inspects her work, running her hands through Marisol's hair. She nods. I can't believe two of the boys will be going home later. Yeah, it's a shame. Lucas is really good looking. What happened to Rocco? Moved on from him already? That's not what I... Maybe we shouldn't have been surprised, though, given how far she got over Gary. Marisol looks like she might say something, but stops short. I'm not doing this with you right now, hun. We've been over it like a million times already. Bang on, no point rehashing old grammar. We need to keep our spirits high. Positivity, girls. Let's get out there and enjoy the sun. And we have to and we get to decide who we speak to. I've got 95 gems left, everyone. And remember, it depends who I speak to. It really does. I'm going to start... I'm going to start with Hemrick. I don't know if we'll get to speak to everyone is my point. You walk out onto the roof terrace and find Hemrick with his back to you, staring out across the Spanish hills. The breeze whips at his hair. If he had a shirt, it would be billowing. Hey stranger, that look is as beautiful as ever, Em. That's so sweet, Hemrick. All alone? Hemrick turns around and smiles. He rubs the back of his neck, his arms flexing slightly. I didn't realise how intense it would be here. I figured I'd come up here to get some air. You go to stand beside him, leaning against the wall. It's beautiful, isn't it? I just wish we could go and explore it all. Eric seems pretty blown away by the view. You're a proper adventurer, aren't you? You got me. Nothing better than getting out into nature. Just strap on your hiking boots and go. Something silver glints in his palm. He sees you looking and passes it to you. My lucky carabiner. I take it everywhere. Maybe you could join us sometime. He winks, moving towards you. I was actually hoping we'd get some alone time together. And I realised that you probably wish it was Lucas staying instead of me. But would you like to stay here and chat a while? I think not today. I would. 
But I think, I don't know, I don't know. It seems a shame though, not today. I think I have to save my gems for using them on romantic opportunities. And I know that sounds really horrible, but I think that is the best option. And Rick's face falls. Sure, you're cool. See you around. You leave him as you found him, staring out across the Spanish hills. And then I am going to go and speak to... There is nothing I want less than to speak to Rocco Marisol, by the way. Let's go and speak to these people and hope that we don't have to still speak to Rocco Marisol. You walk up to Lottie, Priya, Ibrahim and Gary, all sitting on beanbags on the lawn. Priya shields her eyes with her palm as she looks up to you. All right, hun. You pull up a spare beanbag and throw yourself at it. It's so humid out today. Yeah, you should see Rocco's hair. You follow her gaze over to where Rocco and Marisol are lying on the daybeds. They're smiling and laughing together. Rocco has his hand on her arm. The animals are all in heat. This again. Thought she was done with the animal talk after yesterday. You think Rocco wasn't going up against the public vote tonight? I'd rather you didn't remind me about that. Ibrahim gives her a pointed look. Priya's eyes widen. Oh, sorry babes, I didn't think. Ibrahim shakes his head. I thought you girls would be done with Rocco after everything came out. But look at them, Marisol's loving life. Can't get my head around it. I guess he just knows what women want to hear. Please, he knows nothing. Rocco and Marisol? Well, worked out for Gary and Lottie. Kinda seems like you two wanted to crack on anyway. They both stare at you. For once, Lottie seems speechless. I didn't realise that was going to be a horrible thing to say. She laughs nervously. <laughs> Me and Gary, as if... No one in the group seems convinced. Gary blushes and looks down at his hands. Lottie turns her attention back to Rocco and Marisol. Look at them, it's like a nature show. Not this again. Gary sits up, putting on his best David Attenborough impression. The heart of the villa, home to some of the world's most thirsty wildlife. And it's mating season. He nods towards Rocco. This is the Roccoist Maximus, or Rocco, on the hunt for a female to mother the next generation of Roccos. Across the lawn, Rocco stretches an arm and threads it under Marisol, lying on her side next to him. She starts plaiting a strand of his hair. To mesmerise his chosen mate, the Rocco displays his large, curly plumage. I was gonna say. If sufficiently impressed, the female will use this hair to build her nest. Marisol lets go of Rocco's braid and rolls off the daybed to refill her water bottle, leaving him on his own. Gary turns back to Lottie with a somber expression. Disappointment. Lottie laughs, rocking back on her beanbag. I'm creased. That is so funny. I don't even know if Bobby could top that. Priya sighs. Isn't this going a bit far? Doing impressions, it's kind of petty. That's easy to say when you're not involved. I don't know. I hate all of these options. I'm gonna say Rocco and Marisol deserve it. I don't feel like that, but if you do something wrong, you get dragged. If anything, we're going easy on them. Lottie grins at you. I don't know if you're a Scorpio, but you're like a total Scorpio. How about we just talk about something else? Rhea wants to change the topic. This might be a good time to get the lowdown on whether anything's going on between the other islanders. Let's talk about you and Raheem. How are you both getting along? Well, it's early days and I can't speak for Raheem, but I'm pretty happy with how things are working out so far. Yeah, I think we could give it a good run, assuming I get to stay at least. Please, you'll turn into Hope and Noah. Is that such a bad thing? Just saying, I'm surprised I don't have five kids and a mortgage already. To be fair, I don't think Noah would complain if they did. Oh, give it five years, I'm sure he'll be complaining. Lottie sinks back into her beanbag, folding her arms. I better leave them to it. Which means I guess we have to talk to... Marisol and Rocco. Marisol and Rocco are sprawled out side by side on the daybeds, giggling at each other. They compose themselves as you approach. Oh, hey, Em. Rocco stifles another giggle and buries his face in her hair. She grins at him. Looks like those two really are cracking on. I'm glad you're happy. Thanks, Em. Marisol blushes. She takes her hand off Rocco's arm. Does it look that bad? Well, I took a risk cracking on with Rocco, but that was what I wanted. I commit myself to the decision. I need to see it through, no matter what comes of it. Like how the captain goes down with his ship? Almost, babe. Marisol sighs. I'm sorry if I've hurt you, hun, I really am. It's just, this could be Rocco's last day. So we should make the most of it and enjoy ourselves, right? I was just telling Marisol some of my stories. Marisol laughs affectionately. Yeah, except you make half of them up. It's not that I was lying. I love truth. So I stretched it a little so there'd be more of it. Marisol giggles, twirling her hair. It's okay, I like calling your bluff. She turns back to you and pats the bed. Why don't you sit down with us, Em? No, but thanks for asking. Maybe another time then? I still like us to spend some time together and put all this behind us. Rocco rolls over towards Marisol, their bodies overlapping. She giggles. I'll just leave you guys to it now. So let's continue and see what that means for us. Don't worry too much about Rocco, Em. Henrik isn't a bad swap. Coming up. Tweets from the public ruffle the islanders' feathers. Don't get me started on you, toe boy. Don't miss it. Look. 
All I'm saying is, and all I am saying is, Rocco and Marisol seem to be quite well suited for each other. I will take that, that's fine, whatever. But I definitely, definitely, I'm not gonna get wrapped up in any of that. So if I don't have to spend time with them, I'm not going to. If you are watching this and you're enjoying it so far, don't forget to leave a like as we head on to part two of day eight. This is part two of day eight and it's our favorite time of the day. We are going to be looking at some mean tweets. Here we go. Mean tweets. The islanders read mean tweets from the public. Previously on Love Island. With three boys facing a public vote, Emma and Rocco dish the dirt. I don't even want to think about it, to be honest with you. The villa received a visit from special guest Sir David Attenborough. Almost. The heart of the villa, home to some of the most thirsty wildlife. And the islanders brace themselves for the dumping. I can't believe two of the boys will be going home later. Coming up, tweets from the public reveal secrets. That's uh, intense. Which makes things a little awkward. I said we're done. Though I personally find it amusing. I can't help it, this stuff just quacks me up. What, I thought we were doing nature documentaries. Mean tweets. You arrive at the challenge stage with the other islanders. The horizon seems to fizzle in the heat. A semi-circle of tables surrounds a scoreboard and a pile of face-down cards. Each table has two seats and its own small chalkboard. Bobby comes up beside you and lays his head on your shoulder. Phew, all that running in slow motion really wipes me out. But we were running normally. That's what you think. He cocks his head, getting a better look at you. Emma, you're looking as hot as Gas Mark 10 as usual. Thanks, Bobby. A phone beeps. Guys, I've got a text. Let me see, let me see. The islanders gather round. Islanders, it's time for some Twitter bingo. Lottie and Bobby will take turns reading tweets from the public about goings on around the villa, but the names will be blanked out. The couple with the most correct answers will win the challenge. Hashtag roasted, hashtag wig snatched. I'm literally so hyped for this one. Oh my days, same here. This is like our first real glimpse of what the public think of us. A few of the islanders exchange looks. Hope they said nice things about me. Well, if they don't, try not to let it get to you. The trick is to be a good sport and laugh it off. Anyone got any dirty laundry they'd like to air before we get started? You know, before we all find out through the challenge anyway. I actually have a few pairs of old socks back in the villa. He means untold secrets. Lucas playfully nudges Gary with his elbow. Ever seen those celebrity mean tweets? Absolutely savage. Lottie walks up beside Lucas, nodding towards Henrik. Looks like you guys are an honorary couple for this challenge. Lucas and Henrik glance at each other, grinning. I could do a lot worse. Mate, you're prettier than most girls. Lottie and Bobby take their places in front of the scoreboard while the rest of the islanders sit at their tables in their couples. You take a seat beside Rocco, your legs touching beneath the table. He draws a smiley face and a heart on the chalkboard and grins at you. I'm such a sucker, oh my gosh. Are you nervous? I don't think there's anything you guys don't know about. So am I nervous? Nah, I'm not. Actually, I'm pretty excited. How about you? Nobody knows what happened with me and Gary after the recoupling. I, uh, yeah, a little. It's like when you walk past a bouncer at a club. You always feel like you've done something. Yeah, I get that. Lottie clears her throat. She's standing beside the scoreboard holding a large piece of card. The islanders hush each other and giggle in anticipation. All right, you lot, let's get this rolling. Chalk at the ready. Here's your first tweet. Lottie holds up the card for everyone to see. Dreamy darling XO. That guy blanks like the one jar of pickles in your nan's cupboard that just won't open up. Oh my days, that's incredible. You're always on about your nan, Gary. Now nah, I'm a proper open book. My bat's on Noah or one of the new lads. Well, it's not me. We figured that one out, mate. You're always off on one of your travel stories. Bobby opens his mouth to say something, but Gary cuts him off. Don't get me started on you, toe boy. You turn to Rocco, fiddling with a chalk nub. I mean, it could be a couple of people, couldn't it? Noah's an obvious choice, or Raheem? I know Gary mentioned Henrik and Lucas, but it's more that we've just not had that much time with them. You glance over at the new boys. Lucas is drawing something nose-shaped on the chalkboard while Henrik laughs. Nose-shaped, huh? You can do the honours. Gary, Bobby and Rocco are all pretty extra. I think it could be Lucas because the public is potentially seeing that Lucas wasn't opening up to us when we were having that conversation, so I'm going to say Lucas. You write Lucas's name and hold up the board. Looking around, every single board has Raheem written in chalk. All in agreement then. Lottie peels the sticker off the board, revealing the answer. That guy Ibrahim's like the one jar of pickles in your nan's cupboard that won't open up. That's epic. Lottie marks the scoreboard. Not sure how you got Lucas M, but the rest of you all got a point. Yeah, like obviously I'm still new and everything, but I think I've been quite open with everyone. I fully disagree. Ibrahim slumps his shoulders. I knew this was why I was in the bottom three. I think that tweet was pretty harsh. Did you think there were going to be nice tweets? That would just be boring. 
You've been coming out of your shell though, haven't you, Raheem? Yeah, but I need to step it up if I don't want to get dumped. Do you guys want to see the next tweet or what? It's uh, pretty loaded. Bring it on, woo! You can do better than him, blank. The islanders stare at the card in silence. Lottie muffles a gasp. That's uh, intense. But it's not me in any case. Noah's been a total sweetheart since day one. Yeah, if anything, I'm punching above my weight with Ibrahim, so I'm out. Priya winks at Ibrahim. He laughs and pulls her in for a hug, kissing her on the forehead. Don't be silly. You're a solid 10 out of 10, babe. And so's your vision. He's met with blank stares. Ibrahim's grin fades and he blushes. You know, like 2020 vision, but only 10 out of 10 because you can't see how beautiful you are. That's actually really sweet. You lean over to confer with Rocco. Maybe you should get this one too. I just feel bad ragging on one of my boys like that. Rue and Hope ruled themselves out. I think it will be either Marisol or me because I just feel like Rocco has got to be the problem, right? Lottie's fine because Lottie's been coupled up with Bobby and Gary. So I'm gonna say me. You write your answer and hold it up, looking around at the others. M is written on a few chalkboards, but most say Marisol. Henrik is gawking at you. Wait, you wrote your own name with Rocco sitting beside you? That means you think you deserve better than him, right? Uh, Captain Obvious over here. I'd say it was earned, given what happened. Thank you, Lucas. My heart just went like that for Lucas. Rocco's cheeks grow pink. He keeps his eyes on the chalk, refusing to look at anyone. Well, this is awkward. What was the answer? Bobby peels the sticker off the card in his hands and marks the scoreboard. You can do better than him, Marisol. And that was from Chef Jake, who, by the way, Jake, call back to uh, season one. Oh, uh, whoops. That's one point to Noah and Hope and Priya and Ibrahim. Hold on a minute. Marisol can do better than who? You, obviously. You guys are coupled up. Only because we've not had a recoupling since you guys have unofficially started cracking on. Gary jabs a finger at Rocco. And everyone here knows it wasn't just her you were grafting on either. Marisol can do better than Rocco, obviously. It's about Rocco. He played me, Marisol, and all the other girls in here. As if anyone could forget. Remember this is a challenge, guys. Let's keep things light. I want to know what the other tweets say. Lottie glances down at the card in her hand before she shows everyone. She purses her lips. Blank treating blank like crap. Yeah, he was a tool, but acting like a cow about it makes you just as bad, darling. Bobby whistles. They've got a point, ladies. Rocco leans over to you. This one's definitely about me. As for the other person, Lottie's been kind of gunning for me the last couple of days. Not that what happened has anything to do with her. The only other islanders who fit the bill would be Marisol and Gary, maybe. What do you reckon? I think... I think... I don't know. I don't. I, it could be me treating Rocco badly, to be fair. I'm going to go for me. I don't know. I have no idea. You write Emma and Rocco on the chalkboard and hold it up. Bobby raises his eyebrows. You put your own name. That takes some guts, not going to lie. Yeah, I've got a lot of respect for that. Most people have written Lottie's name alongside Rocco's, though nobody seems keen to draw attention to themselves. Hope hides behind her hand while she mouths something to Priya. Just because I had the guts to say what all of you were thinking. I don't know if that's true, hon. Like, maybe to start with, but don't you think you took it a bit too far? I hate to say it, but it never really was your business, was it? I do think it went a bit far. Sorry, Lottie, she has a point. That's the last time I stick up for you. Girls, let's drop it. What was the answer, Lottie? Lottie huffs and peels off the sticker, revealing the full tweet. Lottie treating Rocco like crap. Ooh. Lottie blushes, hiding behind her hair. Well, it turns out all of you get a point, except Em and Rocco, which makes us strongly in third place. I feel great about that. Lottie reluctantly marks the scoreboard as Bobby picks up the next tweet. He raises his eyebrows before showing everyone. What does it say? Blank. Get out of there, babe. She's just playing you to get to the final. Oh my gosh. Sucks to be this girl's man. Rocco laughs nervously. I'm assuming this one's not about you. Me? He taps his chalk nub against the table, frowning. I think we can strike out Lottie. I know it's weird of me to be nice to her after that last tweet and this is like a vibe, but I feel like she's here for love. She's actually pretty straightforward if you think about it. Okay, well, let's rule out me and Lottie then. I think it's... I think maybe they'd say Noah. That sounds really mean, but Rocco nods. That feels so weird to even think about. A few of the other couples are still talking it out. You write down Noah's name and hold it up. There are several gasps as a few more of the islanders raise their chalkboards. A few have written Raheem. Ibrahim slumps back in his seat. Hope's gaze falls on your chalkboard. She gasps. M! I can't wait to find out the answer to this one. Bobby peels off the sticker. Noah, get out of there, babe. She's just playing you to get to the final. Everyone turns to Hope and Noah. They're both wide-eyed and pale. Come on guys, it's obviously just the opinion of some jealous nobody. The public only sees bits of what happens in here. It's not like they know the full story. I wonder what bits they saw. I don't think it's true, I don't believe it. You guys are the real deal. 
If you get to the final, it's because you deserve it. Thanks for saying that, Em. Noah lays a hand on top of Hope's. I trust you, babe. You don't have to defend yourself. Yeah, yeah, let's get on with it before I vom. Oh, right, yeah, uh... Em and Rock will get the point. Lucas tilts back on his chair. This challenge is wild. We're actually with a chance of winning, too. Buzzing to find out what the prize is. You've got this, boo. Dream team right here. Lottie picks up the next card. She holds it up for everyone to see. I swear, Blank comments on everything that happens one way or another, even if it has nothing to do with her. That has got to be L Lottie, right? It's got to be Lottie. That could apply to a lot of people in here, although the tweet said her. The only girl I probably rule out is Hope. She seems to try and mellow you all out more than anything. Three or two. Really? Rocco looks about to explain, but stops short, eyeing you with amused an expression. Why'd you ask? You got an opinion on the matter? Ha uh ha. -huh. Go on, who do you think it is? I think it's got to be Lottie. She's commenting on everything. I, it could be us, to be fair, because we get, like, pulled into every conversation. Yeah, I can see that. Rocco writes Lottie's name and holds it up. The other islanders seem torn between you, Marisol, and Lottie. Basically all the girls except me and Hope, then. Who was it, Lottie? Lottie peels away the sticker. I swear M comments on everything that happens one way or another, even if it has nothing to do with her. I don't have a choice, this is how the game is played, loves. The other islanders look to you for a response. That tweet was really completely untrue. I don't do that, do I? Yeah, you do. You're always reacting to things, telling us how you feel about stuff that happens. Lottie marks the scores on the board. The point goes to Marisol and Gary, Lucas and Henrik. Lucas and Henrik high five. Bring on the next one. Here it is. Blank is Blake's just here for the moment he can get his guitar out and play Wonderwall. A few of the islanders titter to themselves as they set to work with their chalk. Rocco frowns and leads over the table, stroking his chin. Maybe Henrik for this one? I don't know, I just kind of get that vibe from him. I think it would be Rocco personally, but Rocco says Henrik. I'm going to go for Henrik. You write down your answer and hold it up. Every single other card says Rocco. He huffs and folds his arms. It's a ukulele. And I didn't even bring it with me. Was the mean tweet mean to you? To be fair, wasn't he the one singing Wonderwall before? Rocco scowls at you. Come on, guys, there's still two more to go. I want to know what the public said about me. Oh, hang on, I'm on scores. Bobby counts his fingers before marking on the scoreboard. The points go to everyone except M and Rocco. Lottie picks up a card. Only two left, guys. Woo! Calling it now, Blank is the biggest player on this year's Love Island, even more than Rocco. I think I've got this one in the bag. Oh, lay it off. Mate, you're already in the tweet. I was talking about Mr. Playboy over there. Gary points at Lucas. Lucas smiles. To know where you got Playboy from. Aren't you the one who slept with the most girls? Rocco nudges you. For the record, I don't see Henrik, Raheem or Noah as those kinds of lads. What about Bobby? Could go either way. It's not like we've seen him form a connection with anyone yet. I think the biggest player... Ah, oh, the secret player. It could be Lucas. I'm going to say Gary. You write down Gary's name and hold it up. The other Islanders hold up their cards. Most are tied between Gary and Lucas, except for Marisol and Gary, who have voted for Gary. Lottie peels away the sticker. Calling it now, Bobby is the biggest player on this year's Love Island. The other islanders turn and look at Bobby. He steeples his fingers and grins. Mwahahaha. Is it true? Who knows? Tune in next time for the big reveal. Bobby could be a player. It's always the funny ones you've got to watch out for. But you can't paint everyone with the same brush, can you? Bobby winks at you and taps his nose. Everyone who called Bobby a player gets a point. Bobby and the rest of the islanders laugh as Lottie goes to pass Bobby the last card. She hesitates. Bobby tries to take it, but Lottie keeps it out of his reach. That's it, guys. Time to go. But the... I said we're done. The islanders exchange frowns. Didn't you just say there was one more left over? I heard that too. What could that tweet possibly say to make Lottie refuse to share it? She seems really worked up about it too. I've read the tweet, it's boring, we're skipping over it, game over. That's not fair. We're just having a good time, right guys? And it's the last one. Best until last, I always say. Come on, Lottas, don't spoil the fun. You said it's over, mate. Now Gary's standing up for her. I didn't do it last time and I think I regretted it, so I'm gonna do it this time. Come on, you have to show us. Bobby takes the card out of Lottie's hands. I told you it was boring, but whatever. See you in the villa. Lottie shrugs and starts walking back in the direction of the villa. Whoa, uh, is she actually going? What was that even all about? There's only one way to find out. Show us the tweet. Dude, you sound like you're in a movie. Henrik winks at him. You know it, baby cakes. Okay, but seriously, show us the tweet. Bobby turns the card around. That moment when Blank couples up then sticks it on someone else the first chance he gets. Oh my days. Silence falls over the group. That could be about me and Gary. But then why would Lottie storm off? 
Bobby clears his throat. So do we still play the game or... I think we should. Let's keep the good vibes going. The island is set chalk to chalkboards. Rocco catches you watching him. You don't think it's me, do you? I know I've messed up, but I promise I had nothing to do with this one. And if I'm lying, you'll find out in a minute anyway. He does have a point. There's no reason for him to lie. In any case, the girl's gotta be Lottie. Overreacting like that just made it super obvious. So which one of the boys would have kissed Lottie immediately after recoupling with someone else? I think it's got to be Gary out of that list, right? You write down Gary on the chalkboard and hold it up. Marisol rolls her eyes with a resigned, exasperated sigh. Gary glares at her. So who was it then? That moment when Gary couples up and then sticks it on someone else the first chance he gets. Which means Gary was with me and Lottie? Figures. So it was Gary. Does that mean he kissed Lottie around the same time he kissed me? Gary folds his arms. Oh yeah, go ahead and pin it all on me, guys. I'm not the one who swanned off with Rocco. It's not so bad. Perhaps Gary wanted someone else, but they already picked. I'm no one's second favorite, thanks. Settle down, everyone. The commotion fizzles out as the islanders turn to look at Noah. We're losing two guys tonight, so let's put any issues we have on the back burner after that, okay? That means no bringing this up with Lottie until we have a better idea of what went down. Come on, guys, let's bring up the hype. I want to know who won the challenge. Well, it's definitely not me. That's a good point. Bobby goes to the scoreboard and starts calculating the results. The winners are Henrik and Lucas. The two boys fist bump and hug each other. Henrik and Lucas won. We must have got too many of those wrong. Yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, that's me. Guys, I got a text. Captain Obvious strikes again. Go on, what does it say? Congratulations, Henrik and Lucas. Head over to the jacuzzi for your prize. There's a bottle of champers on us. Hashtag bromance, hashtag double bubble. Congrats, you two. Let's start heading back. The islanders descend to the daybeds on their couples. Hope and Noah's conversation already looks serious and Gary's voice can be heard throughout the villa. Henrik and Lucas are in the jacuzzi. They laugh as they clink their champagne flutes. Lottie's nowhere to be seen. Who knew a challenge could cause so many problems? Rocco shoots you a look. So, we should talk about what you said in the tweet challenge? Oh no. You deserve better than him. You said it was directed at you, which blatantly means you think you deserve better than me. I had a feeling this would come up. Rocco side-eyes you. Maybe it was a mistake to say that in front of him. He seems pretty hurt. You're hardly Prince Charming. What's that meant to mean? Do you really need to ask? Your eyes travel more than you do. I don't know why you're acting so surprised, honestly. We're hardly Noah and Hope. Rocco scowls at you, his body rigid and tense. Sulk if you want. I'm not Sulk. He cuts himself off, speaking more quietly. Coupling up with you was a mistake. What a tool! Oh my gosh! The two of you linger a while, watching the shadows lengthen across the lawn. You can hear Henrik and Lucas bantering in the jacuzzi, splashing each other and laughing while they drink their champagne. Wish it were us instead of them. They look like they're having so much fun. The sun starts sinking behind the distant hills, casting the world in a pink-yellow glow getting on a bit. Time to start getting ready for this evening. The power of social media. Heaven forbid it plays a role in anything important. Referendums, presidential elections. Coming up. It's the end of the road for two boys. I can't believe they have to leave. But which two boys will be packing their suitcases? Find out in the next episode of Love Island. I think that went so much worse than it could have, in all honesty. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And we're going to move on to part three of day eight. Let's go. We are back with part three of day eight. And it's time to find out which of the boys are going to be leaving the villa. I am not looking forward to this at all, and I really hope Lucas doesn't go, but I kind of feel like there is a strong chance he might. Previously on Love Island, a game of Twitter bingo ruffled some feathers. Oh yeah, go ahead and pin it all on me, guys. And Rocco's tryst with Marisol sparked more conflict in the villa. They're just all over each other without a care for however anyone else feels. That's the spark you were looking for, Marisol. Coming up. The islanders say adios to two boys. A sense of foreboding hangs over the room as you and the girls dress for the evening ahead. Feel like I'm getting ready for a funeral. Last funeral I was at, I didn't wear this much makeup. There's a short buzz of laughter before the silence takes hold again. Okay, so we're gonna have to dress up. I kind of feel like we go for the original outfit, you know? The one that Ashley wore in season two a lot. And the winner of the best looking of the minute goes to... M. Thanks, Priya. She dabs her finger in a tub of balm and smears it onto her lips. You take a seat in front of the vanity mirror, examining an array of bottles. I can't stop thinking about the dumping tonight. Maybe talking about it will help? You clear your throat. I get that nobody wants to talk about this right now. But who do you think will be going home? Probably Lucas, right? It's so much harder to break into a group once everyone's friends. Who do you think it'll be? I, well, I hope, I hope it will be Rocco and Ibrahim because I really want Lucas to stay. Obviously, one of them will be Rocco. The girls will stare at her. 
Lottie's barely spoken to anyone since the challenge. That guy's a slime ball. Why wouldn't the public want him gone? You hear a sniffle. One by one, the girls turn to look over to Marisol. She put all her eggs in his basket and now Lottie says he doesn't stand a chance. I'm gonna let her cry. I know that sounds really mean, but she did take Rocco from me. But then they are really well suited. I don't know, it's a hard one. Priya and Hope gather around her, dabbing at her face with tissues to stop her makeup running. Sorry guys, I'm such a melt. I get why everyone's so angry at Rocco, but he's also been the first guy I've really clicked with. So for him to go as we've started getting to know each other, I'm so over this. The girls look around. Lottie's standing with her arms crossed, her expression implacable. M got pied off for you, and so far it feels like hardly anyone else cares about that. You knew what you were doing the same way you knew what you were doing when you stole Gary from Hannah. And you didn't even like him. You know that's not true. I liked him, I did. But it felt like there was something wrong almost immediately after we coupled up. And as it turns out, I was right. But I think you know what I'm on about, don't you? Running off like that didn't exactly make you look innocent. Lottie's face turns pale. I'm just done with you being so clicky, Lottie. That's not the point. Why should you just get to do whatever you want and get away with it? Em told me about how smug you were both acting together. What? Did I? I can't believe you said that about me. Especially when I told you at the time I just wanted Rocco to enjoy whatever he could for his last day in the villa. Look, we all need to live here together. Can we just move past this? Oh, don't act like you haven't been enjoying this. Any chance to stir the pot, right, Em? Guys? The three of you turn to see Hope waving her arms. Took you long enough, I literally said guys about three times. Anyway, I got a text. What does it say? Hope bites her lip, looking down at her phone. It's time. The dumping! The girls stare at each other, their argument abandoned. Oh my gosh, this is actually happening, isn't it? Let's have a solidarity hug first. Hope, Priya and Marisol all embrace. Oh, I'm gonna join in too, just because I feel like I have to. You wind your arms around the other girls. Lottie hangs back. Chin up, girls. Let's go downstairs. You take your place around the fire pit with the other islanders. Lucas, Ibrahim and Rocco stand in front of you with their hands clasped. Gary mutters to himself, shaking his head. This is proper brutal. For a moment, all is silent. A phone buzzes. That's me. Noah gets up to read the text. Islanders, you've had your say, and now so is the public. It's time to say goodbye to two boys. Noah looks around at the islanders. His phone vibrates again in his hand. The first boy to be dumped from the island is... Hope reaches out and grabs Marisol's hand. I'm going to close my eyes and wait. You squeeze your eyes shut and wait. Lucas! <gasps> no! Sorry, I actually have to just message Joey about this. Joey, Joey, Lucas has been dumped. Lucas hangs his head. That's so whack. Before anyone else has a chance to comment, Priya's phone goes off. She stands up. The second person to be dumped from the island is... Priya takes a deep breath. Rocco. Ibrahim breathes a sigh of relief before turning to throw his arms around Rocco. I'm sorry, man. Lucas and Rocco got voted off. It all happened so fast. I can't believe they have to leave. Lucas's phone goes off. He bats back tears as he reads the message. Lucas and Rocco, your time in the villa has come to an end. You have 30 minutes to pack your bags and say your goodbyes. Could I have done anything differently? I just don't know. The other islanders start getting up from the fire pit to hug the boys. Come on lads, I'll help you both pack. Yeah, just a minute. Lucas walks over and sits beside you as the others make their way inside. He takes a deep breath, looking across the lawn. I just wanted to say, I really did enjoy meeting you. And I don't think I'm going to forget you in a hurry. This sucks. I'm sorry it has to be this way. Yeah, tell me about it. Hopefully we'll see each other again. But in the meantime, take care of Henrik for me, won't you? Of course I will. Don't you worry about him. Thanks, Em. I just feel kind of protective of him, you know? I get that. You came in together after all. Lucas sighs, gazing up at the stars. I still have to say goodbye to everyone else. Let's head inside. Something could still happen between us. What do I do? What do I do? I'm going to ask him to sit longer. Wait. You grab him by the wrist. He turns around. Stay. Just a little longer. Lucas hesitates before sitting down again, his knees gently nudging yours. He looks deep into your eyes as if searching for something. You feel the warmth of his breath against your cheek. I'm gonna kiss him. We have to kiss Lucas. We have to. Lucas slides his arm around your waist and pulls you towards him. Your heart hammers in your chest as he slowly leans in, brushing his lips against yours. Finally, he kisses you. Wow. He leans back and cocks his head, smiling at the look on your face. He kisses you again, more deeply this time, tapping one hand around behind your head. His eyes smolder as he pulls away. 
Bet the other boys won't kiss you like that. Lucas sounds pretty sure of himself. Kiss me again! Lucas chuckles. I'd rather make you wait for it. He sighs. For a moment there, it was like none of this was happening. Like we just walked back into the villa and everything else would carry on as normal. I think anyone would feel that way. Everything has changed so fast. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, that didn't feel like goodbye. How could it? We barely even had a chance to get started, let alone... He trails off. Sitting here with you... This could be any other evening in the villa, except one where we're together. Is that what you would have wanted? He pauses. Yeah. But too late for that now. He gives your hand a gentle squeeze. We should go. I, uh, still need to pack. Oh, of course. He leads you back to the villa, your fingers entwined. Rocco's in the bathroom when you walk in. He's holding a toothbrush in both hands, fiddling with the bristles. Im! I was just grabbing my toiletries. He looks down, turning the stem of the brush between his fingers. What's next for you? Rocco sighs, staring at the strip lights on the ceiling. Wherever the wind takes me, to be honest. Well, the wind and my van. Nowhere in particular. Yeah, I just feel like I'll know, you know? Rocco pinches the bridge of his nose and frowns. Look. I know I put you in an awkward situation. Being single and hearing everything. I... I'm sorry. Marisol and I kind of just happened. He drops his gaze, scratching behind his ear. I guess you'll be cracking on with someone else now that I'm out of the picture. Rocco sounds like he's fishing. The last thing I should say to Rocco is nobody can replace him. The villa won't be the same without you. All your stories. I'm gonna miss you so much. Yeah? It would be cool to think I've made an impression. Like one of those carbon footprints or something. Carbon footprints are bad, babes. Oh, well, maybe just a normal footprint then. But like, on your heart? Rocco's mouth spreads into a smile, his eyes smoldering. He moves closer to you and slides an arm around the small of your back, pulling you in towards him. The toothbrush is still in his hand. You know, just because I'm leaving soon doesn't mean we can't experience one last thing together. He tilts his head, his eyes wandering down to your lips. What about Marisol? What about her? He leans in, smiling. Rocco's gonna kiss me? No! Oh my gosh, I would say yes, but oh my goodness, he... That's so bad. You dodge Rocco's kiss, swapping it for a short, friendly hug. He seems disappointed, but says nothing. He's not worth it if he's about to leave anyway. Rocco sighs, dragging his finger across the bristles of his toothbrush. Better finish packing. Better finish packing. See you soon, Em. The islanders gather outside the villa to wave off Rocco and Lucas. Bobby has his arm around Lottie's shoulders. She's trying to look composed, but can't seem to muffle her sniffling noises. I thought she'd be happy to see Rocco leave. I guess maybe her feelings weren't as simple as she let on. She doesn't know Lucas well enough to get that upset for him. Lucas emerges from the villa trailing his suitcase. He looks at each of the boys in turn. Lads. Lucas turns and nods in your direction. Ladies, it's been great meeting you all. I hope we all get to hang out when the summer's over. He turns to Hemrick. They grin at each other. Stay solid, man. Yeah, I'll try my best not to melt. Mate, you're already a melt. I like to think it's all part of your charm. Lucas and Hemrick hug patting each other on the back. The other islanders move in on them, swamping Lucas with hugs and kind words. I should say something sweet. We'll all miss you. I know I will, especially. See you on the outside. Yeah, same to you. Gotta say, it's gonna be weird watching you all on TV. Mate, we'll be hanging out again before you know it. A door latch clicks behind you, and Rocco emerges from the villa. He takes a deep breath as the islanders turn to look at him. I know I'll miss some of you more than others. Marisol smiles at him, standing close beside you. I've been thinking some pretty intense thoughts while I've been in here. Life is kind of like a highway, you know? All our souls are like all the cars. I hope one day we merge into the same lane again. Rocco's face takes on a somber, thoughtful expression as he stares up at the night sky. Objects in the rearview mirror may appear closer than they are. Isn't that a line from a song? Life is a highway. Cars fans, anyone? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a song by Meatloaf. No, it's from Cars. Who? Gary, you know Meatloaf, he was in Benidorm. You know Meatloaf, the musician, Bat Out of Hell? Rocco looks at her blankly. No. It's actually a label they put on cars. I'm not sure how you didn't know that, to be honest. Or what Meatloaf has to do with the philosophy. Pretty sure you're remembering it wrong. Rearview mirrors make things look further away, mate. Shh, it's his last day. Let him have this one. As with Lucas, the other islanders start to mob Rocco with hugs. Good luck on the road, mate. I can't wait to hear where you end up. Hopefully not in a stationary cupboard like Marisol. A few of the islanders frown at her. You guys don't remember? It was in the first few days? You know, Marisol said she sleepwalks into stationary cupboards. No one remembers that, hun. Bobby makes an explosion noise as he fist bumps Rocco. Let's team up when you get out, mate. You fry, I'll bake. Finally, Rocco turns to you. You'll be okay. You'll be kind of like a rainbow fish, I reckon. You just need to find the right girl to unravel all of your rainbow colours. Do you reckon? I always thought I was a bit more like a polar bear. He pats his suitcase. I guess we should probably get going. He takes barely one step before Marisol jumps on him, tangling her arms around his neck. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. 
They kiss for a short moment before Marisol lets him go. The boys walk away with their suitcases, waving over their shoulders. I'm gonna wave them off. The boys spot you waving and grin. You wait until they're out of sight before heading back inside with the others. The bedroom's quiet. This is so weird. Can't believe I'm single now. Not for long. I'll be cracking on again in no time. You look around, watching the other islanders get ready for bed. Your eyes fall on Hemrick, perched on the edge of his bed with a distant look. In his hands is the pillow with Lucas's name embroidered on the front. Hemrick spent every single night with Lucas. He looks lonely without him. I don't have anyone to share a bed with either. I guess it couldn't hurt if we both spent the night on the daybeds. Assuming we both want that anyway. Yeah, but just as friends? Lucas asked us to look after him and I think we're going to do that. I don't want anything to happen, but it would be nice to have the company. You walk over to Henrik's bed and sit down beside him. He opens one sleepy eye and looks at you. His hair is so nice! Oh my gosh! You want to sleep downstairs with me? Henrik raises his eyebrows. You don't waste time, do you? I only meant as friends. Oh, uh, right. Henry thinks over your words. Yeah, why not then? I'll meet you down there in a bit. Suddenly Priya emerges from the bathroom holding her phone. There's toothpaste all around her mouth. Guys, I got a text. Spit your toothpaste out. Priya darts back into the bathroom and re-emerges moments later with a clean mouth. Guys, I got a text. Islanders, tomorrow there'll be a girl's choice recoupling. Hashtag make your moves. Hashtag still in the game. That's all it says. The Islanders exchange looks. But everyone is happy with their current partners, right? Not necessarily. That would mean Em and Henrik have to couple up for the sake of others. They may not want to do that. Hope's eyes widen, but Noah grins and kisses her on the forehead. Don't worry yourself, Duck. Duck? Noah's gaze drifts to meet yours. He smiles. Surely that would be the best thing for the group though, right? If they chose each other? But that may not be in their interests. This is still a competition to find love at the end of the day. We all need to put our own interests first. If you're not falling for them, get rid and move on. Could you guys stop talking about us like we're not here? Sorry guys, guess the rest of us are trying to figure out how worried we should be. Hope laughs nervously, but Noah squeezes her arm reassuringly. Sounds like this recoupling is all about how Henrik and I choose to couple up with. I should figure out who I want to pick and double down. Your eyes drift back to Henrik, still lying there on his bed. I guess I should get changed into something nice to sleep in. Stuff like this matters so much more now I'm single again. I really need to impress people. I have company after all. I am going to go for... I don't have many options. I'm going to go for this one. Oh, that looks practical. Is that bad? No, hun, I'm just saying. It'd be nice to see you glam up a bit, you know? How rude is that? Okay, what about... I don't know, what am I not going to get in trouble for? This one? I'll have to make do with what I have. <laughs> rude! You pick up your pillows and carry them down to the daybeds. Henrik arrives shortly after you. I'm so happy to see that outfit make another appearance, Em. That's so sweet, Henrik. He positions the pillows while you flatten out the duvet. We're a pretty good team. You slide into bed next to each other. There's something exciting about the unfamiliarity of his body so close to yours. Did you want to cuddle or would you rather have your own space tonight? I make a great big spoon, but little spoon would be cool too. I want to be the little spoon. I think I do need cuddles after today. Hopefully that's just your cuddling preference. I always use a little spoon. Hopefully we won't end up fighting to death over the silverware. He threads his arm under your neck and allows you to back up against his chest before wrapping his spare arm around you. With the recoupling tomorrow, I should think pretty hard about whether I like to pursue something more permanent with Henrik. That would be best for the group, like Hope said. But I've got to be in here for myself too. Is this truly what I want? Nothing like a recoupling to keep people on their toes. What, you thought we'd give the islanders a break after dumping Rocco and Lucas? Next time. The tension is on as the islanders brace for the recoupling. Let's make them work for our attention. And what better way to prepare than with an entree of dates? No, not the fruit. We're talking romance here, people. I need to make a really good impression. You won't want to miss it. That's it for day eight of Love Island. I kind of feel like we are at a different point completely. Like, I want to end up with... I don't know. I still feel like... Oh, I don't know. I feel so sad that Lucas is gone. I feel so sad. But maybe that means... The bobby path was there all along. Or maybe this is the time to couple up with Henrik and see where that goes. Let me know your thoughts down below. I am going to move on to part nine though. So let me know what you're thinking. If you haven't already, give this video a like, subscribe to see more. And I will see you in the next part very soon. Bye everyone. Rocco has his hand on her arm. Why do I sound like Moira? You think Rocco, you think Rocco going up... Rocco rolls over towards Marisol, their bodies overlapping. She gigs. She giggles. What is gigs? And the islanders brace themselves for the dumpling. <laughs> the dumpling! Boppy count. Boppy?